pop-up forms. Some people despise them, but email marketers and e-commerce store owners love them. Why? Because they are effective at capturing the immediate attention of your website visitors and due to this focused attention, achieve higher conversion rates than a passive embedded form. In this video, I'll be recreating a multi-step pop-up form from a well-known brand in the social media marketing space, you may recognize it, using a WordPress website with the OmniSend plugin and automation. So let's get started. So here is the example we're gonna be using. It's located on socialmediaexaminer.com. It is a multi-step form and it is on a WordPress website. So the multi-step happens when I click on download my free PDF copy, the next step opens up and shows you to enter your name and email address and then another button that says send me my free copy. If you happened to click on I don't want to know the latest trends, it will close out the pop-up form. So that's what we're going to be recreating using OmniSend because they have multi-step processing. So let's get to it. So our first step is to install the OmniSend plugin. Now there's two main plugins that OmniSend has. One is for WooCommerce and the other one is just plain old email marketing. That's the one we're gonna install. So we're over in our WordPress dashboard under the plugins tab. From the left-hand side, you can click on add new plugin or on the plugins page you at the very top here, you can click on add new plugin. That will take you to the WordPress plugin directory. From there, we're gonna click inside search plugins and we'll select our first option here, OmniSend, and we'll automatically go and find the best matches. So the one that we are going to install is the newsletters, email marketing, SMS, and pop-ups by OmniSend. So we'll click on install now and click activate. Once activated, in order for you to see it over here show up on the left-hand side, we have to do this now called refresh. So let's refresh, and then you'll see it show up here at the top, OmniSend email marketing. So if we click on that, it will now say, hey, great, welcome to OmniSend. To connect your OmniSend account, click this button. So we're gonna do connect OmniSend. When you do that, you'll get another page here that tell, walks you through the steps that you need to do in order to connect this type of plugin with OmniSend. So we're gonna go to our OmniSend account and then we're gonna grab the API keys paste in the API key here and then click the connect button. So I already have a tab open for my OmniSend account. So we're not gonna click on go to OmniSend. We're just gonna click on this link here. So for my dashboard of my free account on OmniSend, I'm gonna click the drop down arrow over here on the right hand side and click on store settings. From store settings, I'm gonna scroll down here and click on API keys on the left. And we're gonna create an API key and we're gonna give a name for our API key and we'll keep all of the pre-checked things connected. We'll click on create API key, then we'll copy the API key and we'll go back to the plugin and paste in our API key and click on connect to OmniSend. And then it'll say you are now connected to OmniSend. So now we're gonna go back to OmniSend, click close on our API key. And then what we're gonna do is go over to forms. From the forms tab, we're gonna click on view other form types because we wanna specify pop-up. And they do have pop-up type, so we'll check that off. And then they give you a whole bunch of templates to select from. So we'll scroll down here a little bit. I did see one earlier and I like this one right here. So we'll click on use template. Now we're gonna start designing our pop-up. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the layout of OmniSend, on the left-hand side is items that you add to your form and on the right-hand side is the behavior, how you want your form to act and be seen along with some theme settings. So the first thing we wanna do is add our second step because again, this is a multi-step. We're gonna have two steps. The first step is, yes, I want in. Second step is to put in your first name and email address. So we're gonna add in our second step, click on next step. And instead of phone number, we're going to input an email address and our name. We'll keep the text there. We're gonna remove this field and we're gonna remove this legalese. Then from the left-hand side, we'll drag over our email address and we'll drag over our input box and our input box will be our first name. Now we can rearrange these just by dragging them up like so. So now we have first name, email address. For the submit button, we want to say, get the report and we'll keep it full size and we'll keep it the lovely green. For the heading up here, we just wanna swap out some text that I've got here, don't miss out on the report. For the text box here, we'll just say, enter your first name and email address below. 
So far, so good. So that's step two. Let's go back to step one, where we actually have first name and enter your email address. We wanna remove those two, and we wanna update our text here. So we'll paste in our text, make that bold like that. And we'll copy in some more text here, like so. Now, where it says get the treat for the text will be, yes, I want this report. Okay, and then for this button action, we do not want to have a submit action, we want to have go to the next step. So we'll change that to go to the next step, which is step two. Now we want to have another button below this button that says, nope, I'm good, or something to that effect. So we'll drag over another button here, drop it below our call to action. We'll just say, no thanks, I'm good. And for that button action, we want to have close form. Take out that extra O there. And for the button style, we don't want to have it confusing, so we'll change that to a secondary button style. And we'll do full, so it matches the same width as the first button. Okay, looking good so far. We want to change out this image here. So I went ahead and created and took an image from Canva and designed it a little bit. So we'll pop that in there now. So we'll just click on this image here and we will click on replace and upload a file. Kind of looks like a report, which is what I was trying to go for. So we have everything that we need. So, so far we have step one, call to action. Yes, I want this report. When they click that link, it goes to step two where they enter in their first name and their email address. Maybe we can take out these labels here. I don't think we need those labels. Step three in this case is the success message. And we don't want to say your treats are in the inbox. We probably want to say, you know, something like, you know, the report is on its way to your inbox. So I'll just swap in our text and that's a little too large. So we're going to make that much smaller. That's good. Again, we can bold that as well. Okay, let's go over some of these behaviors here on the right hand side on how we want to show this form to our website visitors. Over on the right hand side, we have something called audience. Do you want to add a tag or tags to people who fill out this form? And the answer to that question is yes. So our tag is going to be email marketing report and our remove form subscriber. Okay, so that's the audience done. Scheduling. Do you always want to show the form or do you want to have a start date or select an end date or select a start and end date? We'll say always show the form. Next is display. When do you want to show this form to a visitor? After so many page visits, after so much seconds on a page, after scrolling or scroll depth of a page, or do you want it to have on exit intent? You can check off all of these things, but that might be a little overwhelming. So what you might want to do is just do it on one of these options or two of these options. So I'm going to uncheck page visits and I'm going to do time on page and that will be the three seconds. One other thing to mention is that you can change the name of your form. So since the template was branded email capture, we're just going to click on edit and call this pop up too and click on update. Now, because we haven't set up the automation piece to this form, we don't want this being enabled on our website just yet. So for now, click on save and close. When you click on save and close, the next tab you want to click on is the automation tab. So under the automation tab, click on create workflow. It'll bring you to a section to pre-build you know, automation workflow. We're going to do the welcome email one because that works for what we're looking to do. So click on welcome email for us here. So the trigger is anyone signs up via an OmniSend form. Well, we don't necessarily want that because we want to say, well, I only want this automation to work for people who have signed up through a particular form. So you have two types of filters over here on the right hand side to filter out well, who enters this workflow. So we have trigger filter and that is the form is, and then we can say select value. And this is our second one that we just created, PDC pop-up number two, and click save. An option that I use is the audience filter. And that is by tag or date added, first name, gender, country, whole bunch of things that you can do based on your form fields. We're gonna do tag is, and that's going to be our email marketing report and click save. So anyone who fills out this particular form, PDC pop-up number two, with the tag email marketing report, will then wait one minute and then will send out an email that has the report that they're looking for, okay? So for the subject line to our email, we'll say, here's your email marketing 
report. And we'll keep the preheader. Thanks for signing up for our newsletter. Sender's name, we'll keep it as the URL. We're using a shared OniSend email because I have not verified email address associated with this domain yet. So that's fine. We'll just use the shared OniSend email. And then we can edit our email. We'll click save on changes. Now we're not going to make this really fancy, but feel free to do so on your end for your marketing purposes. We're just going to switch out our logo here. So click on the logo, click on replace, click on the logo I've uploaded previously. That's fine. For the text, we'll just change this out here to say, click the button below to download the email marketing report. Now for our button, we want to switch our link out to the actual PDF. So we'll get rid of account.website and paste in our PDF there, PDF link. We'll keep it the primary button. We'll do full. So it takes the full width of our email and the padding's fine and our footer is fine and all that good stuff. So that's it for our email. So we'll click on finish editing. It will save and bring us back to our workflow. So our workflow is now complete. What we can do now is click on start this workflow. Then we'll go back to our forms and then we will enable our pop-up forms. We'll click on there, click on enable. So now that is live and connected to our website. Now what we can do is test it all out. Here is our pop-up form. So we can say, yes, I want this report. It will go to step two. If I click on no thanks, I'm good. It will close out the form. So let's click on, yes, I want this report. Awesome, goes to step two. Let's enter in our contact information so we can get that email. So we'll click on get the report and we got our success message. The email marketing report is on its way to your inbox and then we wait for our email to arrive in our inbox. So here's our email, it's from the website domain. Here's your email marketing report. So we'll click on that, open it up and here's our email. And if we click on visit our website, well, we should have changed the we should have changed the button instead of visit our website. That's a, a misstep by me. Uh, but obviously you change the button name. So it would be, you know, download your report here type of thing. But we can click on visit our website and it'll open up a PDF in our browser. So everything worked great. So that's how you set up a multi-step pop-up form using OmniSend connecting to a WordPress website. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. I try to help out as much as I can. And if you are interested in this type of content, feel free to subscribe and click that like button so that I know this is something you're interested in. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.